I guess we're working on the facts of analysis uh, using the land cover data from uh, from Nigeria, Lagos State. You can try it, but you like it. All right, so I'm going to be using the uh, 1986 data. We have 2002 and 2019 image for you, like it. All right. So one thing first, we're going to reclassify this image into two classes. First of all, we use the Act Two box. The Act Two box will go to Spatial Analyst to then reclass. And reclassify. Okay, so we can start with 1986. So our major areas of concern for 1986 is the vegetation and the areas that are not uh, vegetated. There is a non-forest area. So the areas, uh, forested areas, are uh, we have them as grass and forest. These are the two areas we'll combine as forested areas, and all these areas will combine them to be non-forest areas. So non-forest areas are going to be grouped as one for non-forest areas. They are this one as one, their surface one, wetland one, assessment one, forest two, two. So now. Anyway, we have no data, which is like better zero for no data. Right, you could also check this one as no data. So we're going to locate where we're going to save our files. So I'm going to create a new file. Crack that analysis. Alright, so we name this one 198. With class. With class dot CIF. Very important. Okay, I think we are good. Oh, something is missing. We shouldn't have highlighted this widening the analysis. Alright, you can go to results. Or you can come here, go to your results, open this and check this. And make sure that this is not highlighted widening the analysis. Okay. So maybe we're going to delete that previous analysis that was done. Uh first that analysis, okay. Alright, so we're going to do it again without highlighting any of these attributes on the attribute table. We click OK. Alright, good. So we have two classes. Class one represents areas that are no that are not forested and the areas that are forested. Alright, so that is for one. And the next one we're going to be doing is for 2002. You can go to results to open the previous one. You can drag 2002 into the input raster. So now we can have different. You can have your table as this or the other way around. Attribute table. Yes, that is good. So make sure you verify to know that this is correct. So for BS surface, so I say this one is one, one, forest is two, grass is two, water body is one, wetland is one. Alright, so you can check this one now. Also check this one for 2002. Alright, I think that's all set. Then click OK. Alright, so the last one we're going to do is for 2019. 
can go back to your results or you go to our toolbox under special analysis to go to reclassify and drag 2019 inside the box here and for those of you that doesn't really save your attribute table based on the names you can use the figures that's the value but if you're familiar with the figures you can be able to identify which of them is for water body or which of them is for forest or so on so it's mostly recommended that you give your attribute name based on the value you are classifying all right so for bs surface we we'll give this one one view top one forest is two grass is two water body one and wetland one all right so the next one you make sure you check this and you click on this and make sure you change it from 2019 yeah you can give it a name or the a name you could represent your own data all right i think we are good so you click ok so i must recommend that you try to arrange your data accordingly by putting new data frame you can then call this one a class so you can say reclass file reclass and drag all your reclass results into this section I can delete this and you can name this one land use land cover or just land cover all right so we are done with this now we are working with this so the next thing for you is to reproject your data which is very important to you. important for you to do the analysis for price that or else it won't work most time it's usually recommend for projection and transformation so you go to data management to the projection and make sure your view is on this with plus you can right click on it and go to activate to make sure you have the same view here all right so you go to projection and transformation you go to raster and you project raster All right, so to project your raster, we're we'll going to start with 1986 request. Put your data here, locate where you want to save your data. You can give it 1986 underscore project here with you to be able to remember your data, and you can give your output coordinate system. Let's see. And I think that's all. So one other thing is that it helps you to generate the uh, output cell size for the frag start analysis. So you could use it for the I think the edge width. Okay, Let me try using one. All right, so you can use a the a data coordinate system based on your location that is most suitable. So I use minus zone thirty one because I'm working in Nigeria. Alright. So you click OK. Alright, good. So now I also recommend that you add another data frame for your results. And put all your results here and remove this. So the next one we'll be working with is two thousand and two. And make sure you right click on this to activate it so that it knows you're working on this data frame. Alright, so you click on the project raster again, drag 2002 into this section. So I mostly I recommend that you go to your results so that you could make things more faster. Repeat the previous analysis you did. You can just put a different input value and it's still have the same address. You can change this one to two thousand and two and leave the coordinate system with it. So you don't have to go through the process all on and on home. So you can click OK. Alright good. So you drag your results down here. And you move this one. So the last one we're going to be doing is um twenty 
turn to 19, I guess. All right. So turn to 19. Turn to 19. That's all. And click OK. All right, good. So now we are in the third stage of projection. All right. So now, to work on your price chart analysis, you can see that all of them are carrying the same class, and all of them are both uh, projected to a co equal coordinate system. So now, right click on projection, go to activate. So now, for 1986, you can know that you're working on this for 2002. So you can actually change the color of which you choose. From here, just click on this, change the color. So probably you want them to have a color, color value, something. Um, all right, now. So one thing to get your fresh start, actually, it doesn't really come with the fresh start analysis tool. So I'll post the link below for you to be able to get your to be able to download the price test analysis. So mine has been um, downloaded, so I'm just going to install it down here. All right. You can know where you install yours, so you could just once you've downloaded it, you could just uh, post it in a folder if you remember. I mostly recommend you put your data in your uh, C drive to be able to be located easily. So first that's nine first that alright. So this is it here. So actually there are two first that uh, analysis on the link that will be posted. One is for um XGIS nine point zero and the other one is for XGIS ten point. So I recommend you use this ten point. Alright, so so once you have the file, so you can zip it and save your file in the location you can remember. And from your Act Toolbox, right click on the Act Toolbox here, Act Toolbox, and try to locate the folder where you save your uh, that um, Toolbox. Double click on this, double click on this, and you see Act Ten. So you click Open. So once it is loaded, it will come along with the script. So here, yeah, landscape fragmentation tool. So one good thing about this uh, tool is it gives you a more um, understanding form for you to be able to see the map itself and all. So double click on the landscape fragmentation tool. Now we are going to be starting as usual with 1986. Drag your Okay, so as you can see above here, it says that number one is equal to non forest, two is equal to forest, which is what we've done. One is equal to non forest, two is equal to forest. So the edge width is one thing you should also be concerned about. It says that the edge width must be greater than the grid cell size. So if you double click on this, uh, this cell size, you scroll down here, you see that the cell size is uh, 30. Point six ten, so you can just leave yours at fifty, or you can use the general form as hundred meters edge width. Is a commonly used as general purpose. So you can just leave hundred here. All right, our workspace is located folder where you see your data. Uh, I think mine is says first step analysis. So you can pick as result. All right. So under results, you click on it and you click add. So you don't need to open this result. You just click add. Then it is highlighted as result here. So you click add and just give it a name of the the output file. You can give it as nineteen eighty six underscore project underscore black All right. Cool. And make sure yeah, you save the extension as ing. All right, I think we're good. So you click OK. Uh, this might take a while. Load and load.
Alright, so our map is complete. Yeah, the map looks so... Because you might not really understand it. So the yeah, software you're going to be downloading comes with a sample layer that you can... I can easily explain the each of the layers here. Alright, so what you're going to do is click on the Add Data. Go to the... Go to the... To, the, to where you save your... Um, add toolbox. Okay. So where you save your add toolbox, just uh, you will see a layer along with the file. So once you open it, you see fragmentation map legend. If yours doesn't have it, don't bother. So just I'm going to explain it right here. So if you you're going to see like six layers, one, two, three, four, five, six, which is almost the same as what we have on our results, one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is the patched area, these are the patched edge, these are the perforated areas, this is the core less than two fifty acres. This is core less than between two fifty to five hundred acres and core between five hundred and above and five hundred and above. So you could just uh, change the color of yours to be more um, understandable. You could change this one to red. Something that can easily be noticed. Now you can see the areas that are patched in 1986. Okay, so the edges you could give them as um, blue or something like uh, blue is okay. So these are the edges. You can see that the lines are based on the edges of the letter, and you can see the perforated regions. You can leave them as yellow though. Yeah, so these are the possibility regions. So the colors and these less than that is uh well you could leave this one like that. Or we could just change them to like so to be understand. To understand to get it more understandable. And this one can be lighter green. Something. Yeah. So I uh, actually I'm just using a color that to get this color, you can use the 120 56 under HSP. So this one is uh, 120 186, and this is uh, 120 133. So that is your process analysis. You can see the areas that are these, the edges here. You can see the core areas. There are more of these uh, one, this green and this other one, the core areas for 500 and above. So there's there are limited areas for 250 less than 50. And the perforated regions are more the you see the perforated regions here. The and you can also see the edge in blue, the edges. And these edges are covered in the areas that are not forested. Okay. The, the areas that are forested are actually the, the ones where you have the cause greater than all this, alright? So you can actually repeat this inside here. Okay? You can just click on this and copy it and put this one here. Okay? And this one too. You click on this, copy it and put it here. Okay. Oh. So you can click on this. So once you click on it two times, when you click on it once, give it one or two seconds and click on it again. It's going to alight it for you to be able to rename the column. All right, perforated. Give it number two. And the uh, edge. There is number two here. And patch. You can give it a number one. Alright. So that is actually our. Uh, it looks nice, right? This is actually our five steps analysis. Well, it looks good. So the areas that are patchy, that are patched. 
to satisfy areas within the Ibejule, Key Victoria Island region uh, Lagos State to precise as in Nigeria. All right, thank you for watching. I'm going to put uh, the results of the order um, 2010-2019. All right, let me escape presentation. Here's our results. And now the next one, last but not the least, we could just go to results and double click on this. Track this, this. Alright, we have this, we have that. We could just see this in 2019. Alright, and we're done. Click OK. We are done. So you could just repeat the names of this and change the color symbols here. So to put this on the map, you can actually create a map here and just put your results there. So, all right. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click on the subscribe button to get more videos. All right.